everyone, and welcome to the Smoking with Stephen Cash 2023. Sit back, relax, and let's get ready to have some fun and chat about everything. Everybody, welcome back to the Spoken with Stephen Cash 2023. And today it is time to talk about the very first episode of the Quantum Leap reboot. Okay, let me get out of the way by saying this feels less of a reboot and more of a continuation to the original series. So almost like a sequel series, but also one of those shows you don't have to go back and watch the original show to pick up on. Although, if you haven't seen Quantum Leap, the original show, where have you been? It's one of the best shows that I think to have ever been made. It was one of a kind, it was so unique. So I was very hesitant by the idea of a reboot or some type of continuation years later after the show had ended. And also the fact is that Dean Stockwell passed away last year and that Scott Bakula himself has said that he feels like if there was ever going to be a reboot or a continuation, he wouldn't want to come back, you know, because he would want that show to stand on its own. But hopefully he changes his mind when it comes to this show because the first episode of this new show was really good. It was a very good pilot, um, very much felt like it had the heart of the original show, which is very rare to say, but also is doing its own thing. One of the things I like about this show is the fact is it feels like it's going to focus also on the team. It's going to focus on people behind this project. So a basic plot is it's set in present day where the Quantum Leap Project is now being restarted by a new group of scientists that are trying to figure out the mystery of what happened to Sam Beckett when the project was discontinued or abandoned when he never came home. Well, we follow Ben Song and his wife who are restarting the project. Now on a night of a big event, Ben gets a text from someone we don't know just yet that he needs to come to the project right now. So without telling anybody, he goes to the project and he steps into the accelerator and leaps. And naturally, this being Quantum Leap, he wakes up no memory of who he is or who his wife is, who becomes his hologram, his guide. And we find out in this episode that originally, his wife was going to be the one that was supposed to be leaping and he was going to act as her guide and that there was a new program installed into Ziggy without them knowing. So we have this mystery going on as to why he did this, why is this new program installed, and who he's been talking to. Well, as we come to find out on this episode, the person that helped him break into this lab, you know, to avoid security, is Al Calavici's daughter, who, even after years the project was banning, Al's family, Al himself and his family, have still tried to find Sam. So I'm really interested to see where this is going to go. Like I said, as far as pilot episodes go, it sets up the characters, it sets up the overall story, and I feel like the tone. Quantum Leap was one of the shows where each episode was different, so for this first episode, he travels back to 1985 during a heist. So this is a very Ocean's Eleven kind of vibe of a heist story. So, you know, it's nothing too major. Like, if you go for the very first episode of Quantum Leap, it, you know, Sam leaping into an Air Force test pilot. Bit of a different tone. I feel like that was made to kind of capture the Top Gun feeling. This was made more to capture the Ocean's Eleven and the James Bond kind of feel and also 80s-ish action movies. So, like I said, not an overly crazy, you know, plot for the first episode but with the next episode it seems like we're going to go into space and deal with astronaut stuff so that would be cool we hadn't really seen that in quantum leap we had some touches here and there like in the episode where sam leaps into a chimp who might be going in space um yeah so all in all i will say this the quantum leap show looks promising i really like the characters and i do hope that at some point maybe mid-season, there's a switch-up. 